I want this to end as soon as you do. But we simply cannot risk letting the virus loose in Alberta. That would create a public health catastrophe, which would force an even more stringent lockdown in the future, leaving our economy even further battered. That means that we may have to leave our current public health orders in place until the end of May. As hard as this will be, it is the only ethical choice when thousands of lives are at stake. To be honest, I hope the models are wrong. I hope that the tough measures we've taken to date will allow us to begin gradually returning to normal sooner than that. But that all depends, it all depends on how Albertans act in the weeks to come. Once we're past the peak and can begin relaxing these rules, we'll implement our relaunch strategy, our plan gradually to open up our economy while preventing a second wave of the virus. In this, we'll look to the example of countries like tai Taiwan, Singapore, and South Korea that have managed to keep uh, most of their economies functioning with a low level of viral spread. Here are the key elements of our relaunch strategy that we're developing right now. Firstly, an aggressive system of mass testing using new tests that are being developed and approved to identify positive cases and those with immunity more quickly so we can get those folks back to work. Our plan is for Alberta to turn around as many as 20,000 tests a day, and we are determined to continue leading the world in testing the foundation of our relaunch strategy. Number two, more precise tracking of, the, of close contacts of those who are infected. We've done this better, I believe, than other Canadian provinces to date, and we will expand those efforts. Number three, strong border screening. I believe it was a mistake for Canada to wait so long to close our borders, especially from countries with high levels of infection. While Alberta doesn't control who can fly here, we will deploy a much more rigorous approach than the federal government has in screening and quarantining international arrivals. Number four, we will strictly enforce quarantine orders to ensure compliance, including using technology like smartphone apps. Number five, we'll encourage and facilitate the use of masks in crowded public spaces like mass transit. These and other smart, focused measures will allow us to relaunch our economy once the worst is over while protecting ourselves from future outbreaks.